Shapes Shape is an outline of something circle square triangle and so on Line is a long thin marking a line can be straight like a foot rule such a line is called a straight line a line can also be curved curve is crooked it can form part of a circle a triangle has three sides the three sides may be of same length or each one with different length cone has the outline of a triangle but it is not flat look at a clown's hat it is conical a square has four sides and all the four sides are of same length cube is made up of six squares look at a carton box it is cubical in shape rectangle is an oblong square it has two long sides opposite to each other of same length the other two opposite sides will be shorter and of the same length circle is round in shape with a center oval is a distorted circle like an egg a star has five or more triangular fingers the shape of a ball is round a star can be made with five points The shape of the earth is round. Full moon is circle. A triangle has 3 sides. People stand in a queue in a line. Our house door is rectangle. Which one of these articles is square in shape? Chessboard. We can draw a diamond with two triangles. The shape of a box is a cube size when you say big or small you are talking about the size ant is small it is a little insect elephant is big it is a big animal this star is tall its height is more things which are small from top to bottom in height is called short our thumb is a thick finger fatter than other fingers our little finger is thin leaner than other fingers highways are very long roads they are very big from end to end heavy things weigh a lot it is hard to lift 
heavy articles how high is this mountain the peak of mount everest is very high here we have a large and a small ball giraffe is a tall animal you learn swimming in shallow water goat's tail is short a ship can travel only in deep water feather is very light elephant's ears are big cars move slowly in a narrow road our little finger is thin it is difficult to carry a heavy thing highways are long roads what is public transport public transport large vehicles which people can pay and use are called public transport A passenger is a person in a vehicle driven by another person. Bus is a large vehicle with many seats. You have to pay to travel in a bus. A double decker is a bus having seats in two levels. Railway is a transport system where trains run on rails and stop at stations. Rails are long metal pieces. Trains run on rails. laid on ground or bridge station is the place where train stop to let passengers on or off metro is the railway of large cities where fast trains run underground in large cities people can travel fast from one place to another by rapid transit system tram is a transport system Tram looks like a bus but it moves like a train on tracks in the road In a station you can buy travel tickets from the ticket counter which is called ticket office Call porter he will help you carry your luggage I am going to the pantry car to have my meal in the train. On which platform Pandian Express is going to arrive? Shaker is running to catch the bus to Paris. Will you please tell me in which bay of the bus station I can catch a bus to Arakonam?
Do you have a coin to get a drink from the vending machine? Hello, I am caught up in a traffic jam. I think I am going to miss the train. General compartment is the last carriage. I enjoy the fast travelling by metro in Delhi. Tram runs along tracks in the road. Moving things. We keep changing the place of things around us. How do we do it? You push a table to move it away to some place. When you want the table nearer to you, you pull it towards you. From one place to the other, you move the table. If the article is small, you can take it in hand and move it to another place. If the box is very heavy, you cannot lift it. You roll a mat before moving it. To roll is to make something round by turning it over and over. If you do not want a doll on your cupboard, you just remove it. On a swing, you move from one side to the other. This movement is called swinging. You will pick up those articles that you want to put inside the bag or basket. Before carrying the bag or basket, you put the articles inside the bag or basket. When you make short and fast moving of an article from up and down or from side to side, I say you are shaking it. A bullock cart is pulled by a bull. Champions can lift heavy weights. Pick up the fruits lying on the garden floor. We shake liquid medicines before use. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Priya helped her mother to carry the bags from the supermarket. We use a crane to lift Heavy things. Milkmaid dropped the pot on the ground and broke it. Mom put the baby in the cradle and gently shook it. The ring is too tight to remove. Let's go shopping. 
shopping visiting shops to look out and buy things is called shopping department store is a large shop divided into separate section each section selling a different type of thing green grocers is a shop which sells fruits and vegetables shopping mall is a large building with a lot of shops restaurants and sometimes a cinema a supermarket is a very large shop that sells food and other products for the home you go around the shop pushing a trolley and putting things in it then you pay for your goods at the checkout shopper is someone who goes to a shop in order to buy or look at the things that are sold there receipt is a document that you get from someone showing that you have given them money or goods reduce is to make price of something less than what it was discount is a reduction in the price of something exchange in a shop means giving something that you bought there to get a similar type of value you may do it when you find it damaged or not up to your expectation when you return the goods to a shop you get back the money the shop refunds the money to you the lady lost her purse containing all her money and credit card while she was shopping The mobile phone actually costs rupees 5000 but i bought it at a reduced price of rupees 3500 There is a sale going on in Pothis in view of Adi. They are offering up to 75% discount for some selected items in Color International. By the time we reached Purshavakam all the shops were closed for the day If the goods are not good enough will your shop refund the money Ranjini did not buy the platinum ring since it was too expensive in shopping malls shoppers use an escalator to reach different levels i bought the bouquet at the florist Please gift wrap the clock because I am going to gift it. Let's take a look at the countryside. Countryside. Countryside is the area outside towns and cities with farms, fields and trees. Farm is an area of land used for growing crops or keeping animals. A farmer is someone who owns a farm and lives on it. Hamlet is a small village. Graze is the manner how animals eat grass and plants growing on ground. A field where grass and wild flowers grow 
is called meadow nature means the things in the world like plant animal people hill river etc which are not made by people natural is related to nature a long walk in the countryside is called ramble ramble is for enjoyment rural is anything related to countryside thatched means a roof of a building with dried plants such as straw or reeds village is a very small town in the countryside the farmer protects his land from grazing animals by a fence mount everest the tallest peak in the world i like the beautiful scenery of the rural area while flying over the ganges we had a good view of the river i enjoy the ramble along the countryside a hamlet is smaller than a village the farmer's hut is having a thatched roof If I walk through this path will I be able to reach the village Do you have wild animals in the forest nearby They say a saint lives in the cave Let's take a look at the land land the dry solid part of earth is called land the land along a coast is called coastline desert is a large area of land with few plants and little water the weather in a desert is always dry geologist is a scientist who studies the structure and formation of earth Headland is a narrow piece of land that sticks out into the sea. An island is a piece of land that is completely surrounded by water. Isthmus is a narrow piece of land that joins two larger areas and has water on both sides. Mineral is a natural substance in the earth. Coal, salt, gold and diamonds are some of the minerals. peninsula is a long piece of land that is mostly surrounded by water a peninsula is joined at one end to a larger area of land rock is the hard solid substance that forms part of the earth's surface an area covered with rocks is called a rocky area the land on the edge of a lake river or sea is called shore the land along the coast is called coastline coal is a mineral someone studying geology is called a geologist at any time the volcano may erupt
territory is an area of land controlled by a particular country, leader or army. A long row of mountains is called range. An island is a piece of land that is completely surrounded by water. Explorer is a person who explores a place. The glacier will melt and move when the temperature goes up. Let's learn something about water. Water Water stands for a body of water standing or flowing. A lake, a river or any other collection of water. Liquid is a substance that can flow. A liquid has no fixed shape and is not a solid or a gas. The water that falls in drops from clouds is called rain. Reservoir is an artificial or natural lake where water is stored. Water is supplied from a reservoir to the houses. River is a large area of water that flows towards the sea. Water that flows up from under the ground is called spring. A spring can form a small stream or pool. Gush is the quick and large flow of a liquid. Rapids are part of a river where the water moves extremely quickly over rocks and is usually dangerous. Ice is frozen water. Boil means that a liquid is so hot that there are bubbles in it and it starts to become a gas. Damp is something which is slightly wet. There is a leak in the pipeline. Water is dripping. An artificial river is called a canal. The school boys want to wade through the ford. Please leave your umbrella outside. It is dripping wet. If you keep the ice cream outside the freezer for long, it will melt. Because the pipe in the bathroom burst, the water gushed out. It is easier to row a boat in a river in the downstream. Can you tell me which is the source for River Kaveri? The bottom of a river where you have the ground is called bed. Let's learn something about weather. Weather Weather means the conditions that exist in the atmosphere. Weather conditions are related to temperature, rain, snow, storm, etc. Climate is the type of weather that a country or region has. When there are lots of clouds, we say it is cloudy. Degree is the unit of temperature. Temperature tells you how hot or cold an object is. 
drizzle is a very light rain fog is a thick cloud that forms close to the ground or to water it will be difficult to see through when there is fog fog is thicker than mist hailstone is a small ball of ice that falls like rain meteorologist is a person who studies about weather in a misty weather you will have tiny drops of water in the air the tiny drop of water in air is called mist season is a period of the year with a particular kind of weather the light and heat that we get from the sun is called sunshine it is very difficult to drive in a hazy weather because it will be hard to see clearly there will be downpour during monsoon in mumbai ram's father works in the meteorology department and studies about weather he is a meteorologist Shailaja what is the forecast for the day should i carry an umbrella it is not a heavy rain it is just a drizzle i think it is likely to rain today the sky is cloudy During summer in Chennai I feel very uncomfortable because it is a humid climate Will you please keep the window open on the garden side I want to enjoy the breeze Pusha's umbrella blew off in the gale. Today, the atmospheric temperature is twenty-two degrees Celsius. Hands. How many hands do we have? We make use of our hands. to do many things by putting your hand or part of your hand on somebody or something you touch them fingers are the long parts on your palm on each hand you have five fingers on the back side of every fingertip you can see a hard surface which is called nail the shortest and the thickest finger is called thumb you can see your knuckles when you tightly close your fingers in your palm tapping is the action when you hit something lightly with your finger or knuckles tightly closing your fingers in your palm is called making a fist you can punch someone by hitting the person hard with your fist palm is the soft portion with fingers on your hand you use your palm for holding things squeezing is the action of pressing something from all sides using your fingers and palm press the power key on the remote control 
to switch on the TV. When I scored good marks in the exam, my father patted me on my back. Leela rubbed the back of her baby to put the baby to sleep. In the fight, Mahesh slapped Raghu's face. The kitten got its eye hit by a sharp branch of the tree. My teacher bangs the table with her fingertip to silence the class. Shreya is applying nail polish to her nails. At the end of headmistress's speech, all the students clapped their hands. I play keyboard using my fingers. I hold things using my palm.